steam coming out. Okay, what we're going to show you with this one is actually a little bit more physics than chemistry. The idea here is that we're going to look at what happens when you build up pressure, you have differences in pressure. Okay, a couple of things up here, they're a little bit hard to see, but we'll go ahead and do this and then talk about what's up there. So I've just got a little bit of water in these cans. It's been heating for a while. Put my goggles on. Safety first. And you see that it's boiling. So I've got a lot of really nice hot steam going on in this can. I'm going to show you what happens when you take that hot steam and you condense it back down to cold. Okay? So that's the quick way to crush your cans. If you don't like stomping them with your feet, you can just do it that way. Is that what? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, this was an empty can. All I had in there was a little bit of water. I had about 10 milliliters of water, just, just about that much water in the bottom of the can heated the boiling. Can we see it again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, here we go. Watch it. Whoa. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, now can you see that top picture may show up a little bit better than the bottom one? Do you know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> this, what is it? That's a tanker car. That's like a big train. So if you see the big trains go by and they have those big tanker cars? Yeah. That's what, yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> and you know what happened? They sent that for cleaning. Some guys went in with steam cleaners and they cleaned the inside out. And there was no pressure relief valve in that thing. So they cleaned it out really good and then they sealed it up so it would stay nice and clean. And then they all went home for the night. They came back the next morning and that's what they found. Okay, now those tanks are 7 16 inch steel plates. And overnight that thing collapsed down. Because what they had done, they put that steam inside, they built up a lot of pressure in there. Steam, as you heat that water, increases the pressure. And as long as it was open to the atmosphere, it could push out all the other air and it built up you know, this nice system. So you had all this high energy steam going on in there. When they sealed it up, cooled back down, you cool that steam down, it condenses, comes back down, that pressure comes in. So now the pressure inside that canister or that car was less than the air outside. It just squashed it up just like these cans. Okay? So a little demonstration of pressure. And that's one of the things we teach in chemistry. We teach about gases and pressures, partial pressures. Okay, now for the next one, I'll leave it to Eric. This experiment here is called elephant toothpaste. And you know, I had an elephant named Avogadro a couple of years ago, and he had really, really bad tusks. And I was like, you know, he needs to get those clean. So I got out the magic, magic toothpaste ingredient and added it to a can. And of course, you know, we always need a little bit of soap to keep everything clean. Mix that around a little bit. And then the special ingredient makes toothpaste clean so well. And when I did that though, I had a problem. It started foaming. The elephant didn't like that very much. <laughs> What's really happening here is I poured uh, concentrated hydrogen peroxide into the tube. And under normal circumstances, the hydrogen peroxide just decomposed into a common old water and oxygen gas. But I, I put a little bit of uh, potassium iodide into the solution, and that catalyzed the reaction, meaning it sped it up and caused the reaction to happen faster. It happened, so it produces a lot more oxygen and water. And I put the soap in there because the soap trapped all the oxygen and allowed it to foam like this. Now, this the area in here is very, very oxygen rich, so I could. I can strike a match and it'll should light back up. <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry never works quite right. Or not at all. <laughs> Normally, and, and this reaction will, will fill the pan and probably go all over the table for all the peroxide I put in there. And it will go all over the table. And, and it's quite warm, but I mean, it's just a decomposition of a, you know, your concentrated hydrogen peroxide.
Mm. Anyway, this <laughs> is it going to be a big mess? <laughs> I hope you have a really big elephant. Yeah. <laughs> and that will probably go through five or six more experiments. Uh, you know, the guys, in the, the economy this day is really bad. You know, we can't afford to buy elephant toothpaste because you know that's about like six hundred and two dollars and twenty three cents a piece. <laughs> but I mean. You know, I can't even afford to pay for school. I mean, can I borrow a dollar from somebody in the audience? Is there only about a dollar I could borrow? Yeah, we got a buck. <laughs> got a dollar? You know. What, what can we, what, we can't buy anything for a dollar. I mean, really, like, I can't even get, oh, I can't get a bottle of water around here for a dollar. I mean, it's really not, it's really not even worth, it's not even worth having around. I mean, you know, why don't we just, why don't we just go ahead and burn a dollar? I mean, who really needs a dollar? Sounds good. I mean, you know, honestly, like, I don't really need a dollar, do we? <laughs> oh, wait. It's still here. It's a little damp. But it's still a very good dollar. <laughs> dollar back, sir. Now, what's happening in this reaction is I have a 50-50 water ethanol mixture. The ethanol here is, um, is diluted and there's water mixing. And when it, when it mixes with the dollar... The uh, ethanol's vapor pressure is lower, so it's on the outside of the dollar, the water on the inside. The ethanol burns at a lower temperature, causing the water to vaporize around the dollar, making a pocket. So this this dollar doesn't burn. Just the ethanol burns off, and after the ethanol burns off, the water, of course, doesn't burn. It's water, and it just stays there, and you have a nice clean dollar still. See it again here. The on fire. <laughs> like it does. <laughs> what I mean, overall, actually, uh, I actually used the dollar <coughs> vending machine earlier that I actually burnt all the way up. <laughs> Good. All right. So that's money to burn. Okay. What we're going to do next is called the disappearing rainbow. So how many of you know your rainbow colors? All right. All right. So you're going to know what's going to happen here, right? Okay, so Lisa's going to help me out on this one. We've got some beakers here. We're going to make a rainbow in here. All right, so we're going to add our magic solution. What's the first color we see in the rainbow? Red. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep going. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see much red there. Try the next one. And, hmm, keep going, keep going, let's see what's going on here. Red, you see any red yet? No, no color? This is the disappearing rainbow. Hmm, I don't know. Keep going, all the way down the line. Just let it go. Let's see what we got. I don't know, maybe we got the wrong magic solution. That was magic solution number, oh, that's one. See, we need magic solution number two. Let's try magic solution number two. That just looks like water. I bet that's just water. All right, let's see what happens here. Now, red, think red, think hard, think red. See any red? There we go. Yeah. There's some red. All right. Okay, what color comes next? Orange. Orange? Okay, think orange. you got to think hard. Think hard. Everybody thinking orange? All right, there it goes. Okay, what's the next color? Yellow. Yellow? you got to think it. Yellow. Think it hard. You're not thinking hard enough. Think harder. Think harder. There it is. You got it. Okay. Next color. Green. Green. Okay. Think it hard. Think it hard. There it comes. All right. It's all coming out of our magic bottle and your thoughts. Okay. Next one. What color? Blue. blue. Okay. Are you thinking blue? Think hard. Think blue. Think blue. Okay. And last one. Purple. 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 Think Barney. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Good job thinking Barney. I like that. Okay, but now this is called the disappearing rainbow. How did we get a rainbow out of one bottle? Okay. Let's, let's see what happens if we go back and use our magic solution number one. Let's add a little bit of that. Okay. 